Tucson veteran reached out to Nine on Your Side after what his family calls a nightmare experience at the VA. The retired Navy SEAL wanted to schedule a surgery to fix a hernia. He says it took weeks and weeks of pushing to get in. Nine on Your Side's Whitney Clark has details in the story you will only see on KGA 9. Stand by for doors open. It's considered one of the most elite Navy SEAL teams. Stay tight. SEAL Team 6 helped capture Osama bin Laden, the secret mission portrayed in the film Zero Dark Thirty. Before that mission, Craig Sawman Sawyer was part of the team, the former Marine and sniper, now trains actors to play soldiers, running a business, teaching civilians basic defense techniques. Any sort of crisis, uh, life-threatening situation. He often appears on national news programs and TV shows, like Rhino Wars on Animal Planet. It's really incredible to see these rhinos in the Wild. But the Gulf War veteran says he just fought a very different battle. Sawyer, with his wife in their Oro Valley home, recovering after a hernia surgery, a fairly standard procedure that they say ended up being a nightmare. What made me so frustrated was watching him in pain for an unknown amount of time. It did, we didn't have an end in sight. We didn't know when he wasn't going to be in pain anymore. It started at the end of July. Sawyer went to the Northwest Medical Center experiencing a persistent cough and abdominal pain. Turns out he had an inguinal hernia, which in general is not dangerous, but can lead to complications. When the Sawyers tried to schedule a surgery date at the VA, they say Craig was told he didn't need surgery immediately and weren't given a possible date. The Sawyers afraid Craig would face bigger health problems. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be that hard. Fix it while it's small. Fix it while they're still healthy. Fix it while their bodies can can recover. Craig's wife, Tressa, spent every day at her desk, on the phone, working to get her husband in. If it wasn't for her persistence, she says it could have taken months. Basic care, they say, shouldn't be that hard for vets to get. The Sawyers reaching out to Nine on Your Side and Congresswoman Martha McSally's office. This is the letter the director of the Tucson VA sent to McSally's office, saying the agency strives to provide quality and compassionate care to all veterans. The Southern Arizona VA health care system serves over 54,000 veterans a year, performing about 5,100 surgeries. Dr. Eric Kendall is one of the surgeons there. Because of HIPAA, he couldn't discuss the details of Craig's case, explaining primary care doctors determine how soon a patient will need surgery. And if there's an emergency and, and it's considered to be life or limb threatening, those items always take precedence over everything else. So we bump surgeries, you know, bump elective cases to make sure that a veteran who has an emergency gets into the operating room as quickly as possible. Data provided by the VA indicates in August it completed 97 percent of veterans' appointments within 30 days. A spokesperson for the VA says they believe Sawyer's case was handled in a timely manner. Meanwhile, Craig will continue to post to his Facebook page, where he has more than 100,000 followers. I get other people from all over the country sharing their experiences and begging me to continue carrying the flag. Saul, please tell my husband experienced the same thing and it was horrible. While he's grateful to get treatment, he'll continue to use his voice for those who may not otherwise be heard. The Sawyers did say all the nurses and the staff at the VA here were extremely kind from his initial appointment at the civil hospital to a civilian hospital to a surgery at the VA. It ended up taking about six and a half weeks. The VA has some other options if you can't get scheduled within 30 days or if you live more than 40 miles away from a VA facility. To find out if you're eligible, head to our website. That's kagon9.com.